Hello everyone, today is surely my most different video ever and probably the, my most lazy one because I want to talk about the whole surfing Coachella thing because I have a lot of things to say and honestly I don't feel like editing like making really a big effort I just want to talk about how I feel and before we start, I like to emphasize that I'm not usually someone who excuses my my face. Just know that besides, um, I am a fear not. I love the seraphim, but my opinions are not based on how much I like them. First of all, I want to start by saying that yes, I do agree with a lot of the criticism, especially because it's not the first time that they're being called out for their vocals especially sakura like her all her ears in k-pop she has been criticized by her vocals ever since the first day of eyes one till today she has been criticized by this but yeah they do need to improve a lot on vocals but overall when i watched the whole performance it was not that bad like people are over exaggerating way too much first of all i want to say that the clips that went viral of their really bad singing uh, was from a lot of them was from fire in my belly is that the name i think it is which was literally their last song that they performed the very last song after like 30 minutes performing so you're gonna tell me that you're gonna take the very last song to talk about the whole concert sure sure i see i see and i also saw a lot of people saying that che won't carry the performance and that che was the only one that sounded decent i do not see i did not notice any difference between her and young jing for me they sounded like the same che won was struggling just like young jing was doing like Che Wang and Young Jin was like sounding basically the same. They definitely can get better. They definitely should get better. Hype is the one to blame, by the way. Hype should be giving them more vocal training, especially because since big hit days, since big fucking hit days, Hype is being known for uh, not giving proper vocal training because Jimin has talked about this before how. I, I don't remember the exact thing he said, but he was not given the proper vocal training for some reason. I forgot the reason. <laughs> to see how uh, not scripted this video is. But I remember him saying that. So it's a problem for ears and hype still haven't worked on it. One thing that I also like to mention is the screaming. Because how people were saying their whole performance was just them screaming out and that and it was as i was uh watching the performance again it was not that bad i mean they were screaming loud enough to sound good and to i mean for the the crowd to be able to hear them because there were parts where they were singing naturally normally and i could barely hear them because i mean it's a huge fucking stage for a huge fucking crowd. They need to sing loud for everyone to be able to listen. And not only the huge crowd, there's a lot of people screaming. And there's a like loud instruments in the background. So they need to sing loud for them to be heard. Because I've watched the Sabrina Carpenter's expresso performance on Coachella and she was singing with the normal tone that she sings on the music itself and I could barely hear her like she was singing way too low not low the volume was way too low I could barely hear her I mean I do agree that sometimes they were screaming way too much and there, there are parts on the song that you can scream to hype the crowd uh, like the entity TT fragile part that was actually really good but you know all the 
entity T fragile they were screaming I don't I don't think that was necessary uh, there were there are parts in the song that uh, if you scream it gain it, it makes more emphasis on the part and makes more powerful and yeah there were parts that they were screaming for a part that did not require that but overall they were not they were not that bad. Like, people were getting on Yeonjin, especially Yeonjin's nerves a lot. And she was, like, the one who sounded the best for me. She was the one who sounded the best. But I want to also say that the double standards. Because ATs was doing the same, especially Mingi. And no one was saying anything about it. One thing that uh, really was really bothering me about, about AT's performance was Mingi's voice. Because, I mean, yeah, he's a rapper. He did not have to uh, be a good singer and all, uh, and all that. But, I don't know, his voice, he was... All his raps where he was screaming, and he was not sounding good. Like, it, sorry, Mingi did not sound good. Hong Joon at least sounded a little good. But he was also screaming very much. But... Mingi was, mm, he didn't sound good. Nothing against Mingi. I love ATs. I love Mingi. But he was not, he did not sound good a lot of times. And also not to say that there were times that Sun did not sing. But that's a, a normal thing for him because he usually don't sing when there's a hard choreography. Because he chooses to pay more attention to, this, to the dance than to the sing. The sing. So, this is something that he does a lot. He always does it and never really bothered me. But, crazy how he did this in Quad Challenge. No one said anything. While well, Seraphine sang the, uh, the whole song for 40 minutes and still got those criticisms. And I would also like to say that a lot of people are, were comparing them to other female groups. <laughs> People were comparing them to Blackpink, to Aspa, to Kiss of Life, to someone else, I forgot. And basically, nowadays, I cannot uh, watch a live performance with, or a video or a reels that contains live vocals without going to the comments and and seeing people being like, oh, the surfing can never, and all that. And it's usually, usually on girl groups' comments. Which, I don't know, I guess putting woman against woman will never die. I thought people had left this in the years 2000s, but no, it still happens. Still happens. People just love to put woman against, against woman. Uh, my last topic that I want to talk about is the hate. Because judging by the reaction of people on the comments of reels on the comments of YouTube shorts. I don't, I don't use TikTok. Judging by those comments and some other, especially the comments under uh, Unches, uh, Unches pictures, uh, Unche, bruh, what happened to English? <laughs> uh, especially judging by the comments that people leave on uh, under Unches post. I just just confirmed my in my theory that it was not my theory. NC NCTD actually uh, said this first, and I completely agree. People don't care about the live vocals. People really don't care about their performance. People don't care about their voice crack, about their screaming, about anything. They don't care. They just want a punching bag. Because if they actually cared about the live vocals, they wouldn't be... And they wouldn't be making them feel like crap. If you see a bad performance, like I'm gonna use me as a, as example. I really, really don't like, and I was very unsatisfied by Janie's performances on the tour. Like I was very unsatisfied. Have I ever called her names? Never. I I genuinely wanted her to get better and to show more prof- professionalism. So by doing that, I never called her names. I never said anything mean to her. I, I, I just said that, no, this is not acceptable. This is not acceptable and all that. So 
if your first um reaction, first impulse, is that a word? Is uh by this is just hating on the idol, and you don't actually care about the issue. You don't actually care about the issue. You just want someone to hate, because I mean, tell me because tell me why Jenny has not been hated these days. One young has not been hated. Mass hated actually. No, none of them has been mass hated. Yuna has not been mass hated, but the seraphim is. I mean, that's just proved me that people just want a punching bag, and the seraphim is the target. New jeans might be might be next. Who who knows? XG might be next. As someone who has been on internet since, has been on YouTube like as a as a watcher since twenty fourteen, I'm really not surprised. I'm really not surprised. All I can say is, grow up, get better, and start stop doing that. Like you're not. What are uh, what are uh, what do you gain from from that likes, from uh, from your comments like well, well, that's whatever you're not earning any money from that so you better you know do something that you can actually work uh, and help your parents in home instead of being this useless dead body that only anyways I'm starting to get angry um <laughs> you get my point you get my point <laughs> anyways. I, there was another thing that I wanted to say and I completely forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry, this video is such a mess. I don't plan on making videos like this very often. If you like this type of video, too bad. I'm not doing this. It's way too lazy for me. It's way too unprepared. And I'm not doing this. I I will do more videos if I have something uh, really that I really want to talk about. I was planning on making a video like this for the whole Karina and Karina dating stuff and winter and all that, but I d didn't really have any much things to say. But if something happens that I really want to give my opinion on it, I might do something like this, but this is not would not be the norm. This will not be the norm. I not I'm really not comfortable making such a lazy video. If I try to, if I remember what I was going to say, I just put an insert. So that's my opinion on this whole situation. And yeah, bye. <laughs> not happening again. This video is not happening again. But yeah, bye.